What's going on? It's Legend of Two Games, repping for real fans, real talk. Make sure you're tuning in every Thursday night, 8 p.m., Verizon Channel 43. And also head over to the website, man. We gave it a new look, realfansrealtalk.com. All the latest blogs, video blogs, episodes, all, all our posts is up there, man. You need to go over there and check it out, man. But today I definitely want to bring up uh, a topic that's going to be a real talking point over the next week, and it's Cam Newton. He was recently put, put on the uh, IR for the season, which means he's not playing for the rest of the year for the Panthers. Uh, he may be the greatest Carolina Panther ever. Maybe it's debatable, possibly Steve Smith. Who knows? But ultimately, he won't be there next year. And now it's time to figure out where he will be. Cam Newton is 30 years old. He's still got a lot of game in him. Former MVP of the league. He's taken the Panthers to the Super Bowl before. And I think there's a couple good landing spots. I mean, we're going to hear about the Bears. We're going to hear about the Bengals. We're going to hear about the Broncos. They need a quarterback. Um, there's going to be some dark horse candidates like the Giants because of his ties to David Gettleman. And also because they may not be convinced on Daniel Jones just yet. He's still very young, very raw. You may want to bring in a vet like Cam who can help develop him a little bit until he's ready to take over. But there are two teams that I'm really interested in seeing what they do this offseason at the quarterback position. The first one being the Indianapolis Colts. I know it sounds like a homer pick because you guys hear me brag about the Colts all the time, but when Andrew Luck left in August, they had a big void there. And even though Jacoby Brissett has played well, they still need a long-term answer there. Cam could come in with all the weapons they have and really turn that into a Super Bowl contender. Also, don't forget the Colts really worked on nursing Andrew Luck back after his shoulder injury and turning him into the comeback player of the year last year. So I think that would be a good fit for him. And probably the most intriguing team would be the Dallas Cowboys. They haven't committed to Dak Prescott long term. He's asking for a big dollar amount moving forward. And I don't think he's going to get it from them. And if he doesn't play well in the second half of the season, I wouldn't be surprised if Cam Newton lands down in Dallas, man. Legend of Two Games, real fans, real talk. Make sure you're tuning in. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you 